Hi, I'm Rather Be Switting. Today, I'll be talking about the United States Senators behind the Pentagon's mysterious UFO program, a program that was disclosed by the New York Times article on December 12, 2017. If you're not familiar with this article, I advise you to check out my early video where I really lay out the landscape that this article lays for us. So, the article in December 2017 discloses the Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program, a top secret program for, you know, funded by the Pentagon that was actually created by three senators, Harry Reid, Ted Stevens, and Daniel Inouye. Now, Harry Reid is the main actor in creating this agency. He tells a story where he's approached by people from the D Department of Defense who tell him that Robert Bigelow of Nevada has this ranch in Utah where paranormal things are happening. They don't refer to it by its name Skinwalker Ranch, but that's clearly what they are talking about in this New York Times article. Harry Reid is convinced that there are some interesting things happening on this ranch, and he wants to start a program to start studying it. He calls in his friends, Ted Stevens and Daniel in Inouye, into a secret meeting. He describes it as one of the easiest meetings he's ever had in his life, where he uh, gets them together, and I guess I'm not exactly sure of the mechanisms for it, but they, these three, essentially created the funding for the Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program. Um, you know, that, that in itself is pretty interesting to me. It kind of begs the question, how many other secret programs are there that uh, are created by uh, less than a handful of senators that we have no idea about? And maybe we, they will take it to the graves. As you see, two of these senators are already dead. That uh, somewhat begs the question, how close were we to losing all verification of this program at all? And the answer is, it seems like it might be pretty close. Now, Harry Reid, he, he is a older gentleman. He was born in, sorry, well, let me see here. He, he has a very long Wikipedia page. He was born in uh, 1939, currently age 80. Um, and he has had some health scares. Most notably, in 2015, he, he suffered a uh, pretty bad bang-up. He uh, broke some ribs and uh, suffered some uh, broken facial bones even when he had a, an exercise accident. Um, I guess this was a exercise band that snapped. Um, and more serious than that, uh, about five months after this article was published, Harry Reid was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. And, and one interesting thing to note here is that you know, pancreatic cancer is obviously a, a very serious cancer. You, you know, it seems like you know, th this happened in May 2018 when he had his surgery, and all signs pointed to him not having a very long life after that. He is luckily still with us and hopefully you know, continues to, but there's probably a really real possibility that he thought he was going to die. And so, you know, the timing doesn't totally align to, um, you know, him having a deathbed confession when he gets this news and going to the New York Times article. But, you know, there, there is the notion of when you have a serious issue like cancer, one of the early signs of it is actually a impending sense of doom. So it's, I, I think, very plausible that, you know, at the end of 2017, when you know this pancreatic cancer was you know starting to develop in Harry, having come out of just some pretty significant uh, other medical events in 2015 with a you know exercise accident, you know he could be fearing his mortality and, and really facing it. Um, and and to be honest, that it, it seems like that is likely one of the main reasons he's coming out and, and saying this. Now, of course, Harry Reid continues to live to this day, so it is not really a deathbed confession. But I think that there's a good chance that his mortality was weighing on him when he 
provided these details to the New York Times article. And while this is mostly just kind of an interesting aside, it, in my mind at least, does lend some extra credibility to what Harry Reid has to say. And so when he you know, talks about his colleagues, Ted Stevens and Daniel Inouye, and he talks about his experiences with John Glenn and John Glenn you know, explaining to him that you know, we should be researching aliens, I, I think that Harry Reid is, is telling the honest truth in this article. Thanks for listening. As always, if you have any comments, questions, or want me to research anything in particular, please leave a comment and let me know. I'll be providing more videos going down other rabbit holes related to this New York Times article, as well as theories I have and any new developments. So please stay tuned and you'll hear from me. I'd rather be squidding. <laughs>